What up, YouTube? YouTube! Shout out to my subscribers today, all 25 of you or so. Um, I really appreciate you guys for your constant support. Anyways, uh, here is the lesson for today. We're going to be going over photosynthesis equation and then coral bleaching research. So first, pause the video, answer the questions for the day. So this is what we're doing. We're going to investigate at the end of the day why the fishing industry is in trouble due to something called coral bleaching. It looks a lot like this. So coral has algae on it, and that's what gives it color. And then this is dead coral because it doesn't have algae, so it starves. Cool. So today we're going to be continuing on our notes. So go to Google Classroom, go to Wednesday, photosynthesis equation, and then go to photosynthesis equation notes. Okay. And then once you're here, I'm going to walk you through the notes. So it'll ask a question right here, and then you'll give me the answer. So like in the bell work, it asked, what are the three things plants need to do photosynthesis? You give me the answer, and then I ask for a picture. And then the next one, it'll ask, what do plants make during photosynthesis? So you should be filling out the notes as we go. And please pause the video as many times as you need and rewatch. So first off, here's some review. Photosynthesis is a process where plants take in sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide to grow. It takes in these three things to get a plant or algae. And then these are the two things that plants make after photosynthesis. They make oxygen, which is the oxygen gas that we breathe, and they make glucose, which is a sugar. And not like table sugar, that's sucrose, but glucose is what the plant is made of. So that's what I want you to think glucose is. They're basically building themselves, themselves using carbon dioxide and water. And then they make oxygen and glucose. Glucose is what the plant's made of. Next, here is the equation. It should be in your notes. So you have six carbon dioxide, six water, and then sunlight helps it convert into glucose and oxygen. So in your notes, you should have a fill in the blank. Each letter in the equation represents an atom. So C is carbon, O is oxygen, H is hydrogen. And then I want you to pause the video and think, why do you think there are numbers in front of CO2 and H2O and O2? What do you think there are, why do you think there are numbers? Next. So the reason why there are numbers is because of the law of conservation, where you should remember that matter can't be created or destroyed, only recycled, which is why the atoms, like the carbons or the hydrogens or the oxygens on both sides, need to be balanced. So 6 times C is equal to C6. That's the same number of carbon, so it checks out. So it's all about balance. That's why you have the numbers to show that six carbon dioxide, they go into glucose. That's why you have to have balanced because you should know that six carbon all go into that glucose. Okay, that's a sneak peek for your chemistry class. And then once again, here's the equation, but you may notice that I skipped over the chlorophyll part. So the chlorophyll or these little green circles, that help the plants absorb the sunlight. It helps extract the energy out of sunlight. So that's the last part of the notes. Chlorophyll, you should know, is a green pigment. Pigments are things that give thing, uh, something color, and it helps the plants or algae absorb sunlight. That's actually the thing that's making everything green, like the vegetables you eat, they all have chlorophyll if they're green. Yep and then get a picture for that. And then when you're done, go to coral bleaching case part one. Sorry, my dog's growling in the background. Okay, so here's what you're doing today. It's another gizmo. I have instructions if you can't log in. Once you do, click on the link here. Make sure you are logged in. Save your username and password if you can. And then what you want to do, you want to go to my classes, go to period, and then click launch.